AI is doing more than just your children's homework nowadays or writing really good poetry. No, it's programming CNC machining centers like the two you see behind me. Yes, three axis and five axis. There's two softwares that are behind it, Toolpath Labs and CloudNC. Both of them have a plugin that works inside of Fusion to develop operations. And that way you can post it out to any machine on your floor. The question we have to ask ourselves, is this software a good assistant for programmers or is it a good replacement for programmers? There's only one way we're going to get a satisfactory answer. Uh, and that would be to time a good programmer and add that to the cycle time of its part. And then do the same for both of the other softwares. So we'll see that challenge take place in this video. And then at the end, we'll let you know if AI is right for the kind of work you do in your shop and what kind of future we have to look forward to with this kind of technology. And since I don't see another programmer around here, I guess it's up to me. And I'm ready to go. It's a drug snack! In this corner, weighing in at 150 pounds in a quad pack of Natty Light, Jeff Cooper! In this corner, an AI weighing in at 3.5 pounds, minus the modern R.T. board mouth and accessories. Let's get ready to rumble! The excitement in this room is going wild. It's the story you've been waiting on, I know it. It's the real life Terminator story. Tonight, we've got Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's going to be a little computer box. It's going to go up against head to head with our John Connor, the 40 year old man, beer gut programmer. We're going to see who wins out in this one. I know everybody's been waiting to see this. Let's get into the action. Did you guys see that? Jeff did okay. He really needs to speed it up with that programming. It's really going to come down to the cycle time. So let's get back into the action. I don't know right now if that's enough to take the leader AI, but we're going to take a look and see. Okay, so just load this cam. I can't touch that legally. So just go ahead and see if you can run this cam assist. and change that to the spindle, the one we have here. Okay, and then hit run. Okay, time. Now hit okay. Okay, now we're gonna run the Toolpath Labs. Okay. So just go to Toolpath up here, click that, and Cam Accelerator. Okay, and everything should be okay. Ted, okay, just say okay. It's gonna zip it up to the cloud now. Zip. Did not expect that to happen! Did you? Was that supposed to happen? Nah. Are you kidding me? Did you just see that? I tell you what, AI did pretty good. If Jeff doesn't step it up a little bit, I don't know if he can come back from this. We're gonna let it play out and see what happens. 
And the programming portion of this race has come to an end. Moving on to cycle time. Let's see who can pull through. Don't touch your feet right over right or you'll disqualify, sir! And time is up. Put down your mouse and keyboard. Fight over. Race ending. This has been such a head-to-head -head close battle. It's impossible to tell who's come out on top here. We've got to go back, look at the data, the slow-mo cam, consult the priest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So while this video was pretty ridiculous, we did learn a lot about both of these softwares while we were making it and had a good bit of fun, mind you. And so now what we're going to do is take a look at the results and then after that, a couple of things that we really enjoyed about each of these softwares. So what are the results in this epic battle? Well, Cloud NC came in at a total time of 13 minutes and 17 seconds. Now, keep in mind, it had that epic time of 17 seconds to program, but it had a cycle time conservative at 13 minutes. Now, my total time was 9 minutes and 56 seconds. Now, the programming time for me was 2 minutes and 65 seconds. And then Toolpath Labs definitely took this contest at a total time of 8 minutes and 46 seconds, beating me out by over 50 seconds. And Cloud NC by almost five minutes. Now keep in mind, we were all using the same tool library, but we could have gone back with Cloud NC and a, spent 30 seconds, right? Adjusting some of their operations. And then we could have saved probably five minutes in cycle time, which would have definitely put it back in the ball game. But this was just an out of the box competition to see how they utilize the tool libraries and how long it took them to program. So what are some of the options that we really liked with Cloud NC? It's called the Cam Assist. When you open up the window, you get this dialog. So your tool library, you need to give a lot of attention to because as we move into this AI world, your tool library plays a significant role with how these parts are programmed. And so that is your control mechanism, is building a good tool library. You can select your machine and at the bottom, it says you need to select your setup. So that means you are building each setup that is required for Cam Assist to be able to program this for you. Some of the options I really like is gives you some control in the advanced tab over how it's programmed, whether you're going to face mill or whether you're going to spot drill. And then also how much material you're going to leave for cleanup, whether it's a small part or a big part that could come into play. And then what kind of free form or 3D tool paths are going to be developed on some of these features. Uh, again, then you have some probing operations that you can add in, orientational, your datum, or a particular feature that you need to probe on this part all through Cloud NC. What are some of the options that we really like using Toolpath Labs? Right now it's a beta, so the UI is not completely developed within Fusion. Now we're going to go to the Run Cam Accelerator. Once this is done generating all the information that it needs, we get an option to quote this part. This is really handy. And now you don't have to have Fusion to be able to quote your part. You could do that from a phone and just send a email from your email account that's associated with this account to toolpath.com and then it will start developing a quote for you. You even have an option to change some of these presets. So you can say my base cost is $50 just to get started. Machining cost $1.25 per minute. Tool change time, I don't really do that. I do do, I do do cost per setup, but that's something that I do charge for. And so you get an option to kind of adjust some of those things so that you can get an accurate, let me move myself out of the way, an accurate quote for each of these parts. It's saying the subtotal for this part is going to be $156, but you can also add in some threaded holes. By hitting this, it highlights, let's see, this 
This hole here could be tapped, it's not, but this one is tapped, and then I can say that it is a quarter 20, which it legitimately is, and I can say next. It's gonna go ahead and start updating how it's gonna program that part and adding in that threaded feature. So you can see here, after selecting that we're gonna add in that tapped hole, it added an additional tool to our uh, list of tools here, and it added in the operations. Once Toolpath Labs is done in the cloud, it sends that information back to Fusion where it turns them into operations. I really like the operations it develops. It makes a very concise toolpath, and I don't find that I do a lot of edits. But even if I did, it lays out all the operations in a way that makes it easy to edit. So with quoting and with building the toolpath operations, I really like the package that Toolpath Labs has developed. Thanks for watching the video this far. Uh, now, we got to see Toolpath Labs. Keep in mind, it's still in beta. So the results today, they're just going to get better before it's released. And then we got Cloud NC, which it is released. You can go buy that today. Uh, you got a lot of options with it. Uh, there becomes a, a threshold, though, where you find yourself doing more editing than it would have taken just to program it from the beginning. But 2.5D work right now, uh, AI can definitely handle that, whether you're using Cloud NC or Toolpath Labs. So we look forward to the future of manufacturing with AI being involved now. What do you think the future is? Could you leave a comment below and let us know? We appreciate you watching. We'll catch you next time.